Hi everybody, Mike Brown back with you again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 course. We've been talking about selections and how you can utilize isolating areas, which is what selections are, to actually improve an image beyond what you can do with overall corrections. We saw that in the intro lesson where we took the image that we corrected at an overall basis with exposure and color and by painting some selections, which is one way to make the selections, very quickly we actually improve that image by making dynamic changes to isolated areas. In this lesson, we're going to go into relative detail on how to use the very basic selection tools, the marquee tools, the lasso tools, the quick selection tool, and the magic wand and how to add and subtract from the selections. Let's get started in showing you how to work with them. In the next lesson, we'll take that even further. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to deal with the marquee tool, which remember up here when you click it, we have the oval and we have the rectangular. So let's go ahead and open up a blank document, Command or Control N. And I'm just going to go make this 700 by 700 at 200. And we'll click OK. We've got ourselves a blank document. This will enable us to take a look at this. Now, when you click any of the selection tools, you notice you get the option bar pops up with the various options. For our rectangular and oval elliptical marquee, we have a feather option. We'll talk about feather in a later lesson here, but right now we're going to give you the generalities. You notice with both the elliptical and the rectangle, you can set a fixed size or aspect ratio if you want to. Let's say, for example, you're doing an 8 by 10 photographic image and you want to maintain that aspect ratio, you can have it as to 8 by 10. We click OK on that. Whoops, I wanted to put a zero in there. 8 by 10. And then when you click and drag, which is the way you make a selection, you'll notice that no matter what I do, it has that fixed aspect ratio. And when I release, you see the what we call the crawling ants. That's that dash line that shows you the outer bounds of the actual selection. Everything inside that area is active. Everything outside is protected. And let me show you that by actually taking, let's just take a paintbrush and I'm going to paint with black and I'm going to paint inside this. Now I'm going to leave the crawling ants active. Remember to hide your crawling ants, command on a Mac, control on a PC, the letter H. First I'm going to leave them open and as you see as I paint, it's only working within that selection. Everything outside is protected. Now if I go Command or Control H, I've hidden the crawling ants, but as I paint, you will see that once again, the selection is still there. So if I undo that, go Command or Control H, our selection is still there. To deselect, if you remember from the last lesson, Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, deselect the letter D, Command or Control D. Now we have no selection. Okay? Let's reopen our options and let's remove the ratio, the fixed ratio, and go with specifically normal. Now when I click, it does anything I want to. You notice what it does is it creates the rectangle from where I click is a corner and it makes it go from there. The same thing holds true with the elliptical marquee in the same exact fashion. If you wanted to constrain it to a specific oval, you can do that. Now I'm going to show you a couple of little tricks. If we hold down the option key, with the rectangle and click and drag, you notice what it does. That becomes the center and it drags out from there. Click and drag. I can still control the dimensions, but it all came from the rid. Rather than dragging from a corner, if I hold the option or alt, 
it drags from the center. Now, if I hold down the Option, Alt, and Shift, and click and drag, you notice it drags a square, centered where I started the click. So, click normally and drag, it drags from a corner. Option or Alt, click, it drags from the center, be it of the rectangle, or if we do it with the oval, same thing, from the center. If we hold down Option or Alt plus Shift, click and drag, in this case, it's a circle. In the case of the rectangle, it would be a square. Option or Alt, Shift, click and drag from the center. Now, if we just hold the Shift key down and click and drag, it drags a square but from the corner. Quick Notes will have a full list of these little shortcuts. But basically, that's what you're getting is rectangles and ovals from your um, marquee tools. Usually, these I use not a lot. They're used basically to cut out items, and I usually have a hard edge feather, which is the thickness and softness of the edge, uh, is available on this. We'll talk about that more, but that's what your marquee tools do. Now let's go to the lasso.